Well, I've been back down to the mine a couple of times. Made it back down to that pit where I found that good specimen rock. Intended to clean that pit out, but I found myself in a colony of red ants down there, so I don't need to get in there that bad. But I did get to expose the face a little bit, and then there's this trench that the old timer dug. So I'm assuming that the best of the gold is along that edge where he dug there. So I got about 10 pounds out of there. It's really hard and really dense. But I did get about 10 pounds chipped out of there. And this is the gold that come out of there. It's, a, it's chunky gold and, and a lot of sulfides in it right there. It's kind of unusual. Not a whole lot of fine gold, but chunky. And then I uh, spent a little time down at the the property line pit, shoveling that dirt back onto the neighbor's side, and I picked this rock out. This is about a quarter inch little chip off of that rock. And it's just really small gold, really fine, but lots of it. With the loop you can see gold everywhere in there. This is with the magnifier on the on the iPhone. That lint there, I had it in my pocket, so that's just the lint, I think, out of my pocket. Okay, I'm back at the oak tree. And this little pile right here, it's my spoils out of that spot where I got the little piece of visible gold about a week ago. And I took home a couple of shovelfuls of this the other day. And had 0.07 grams of gold in this, and just in my spoils here. Says there's a lot of little pieces of quartz. So I knew I was throwing gold out, but there's more in it than I thought. It's mostly slate, but there's enough enough quartz that I need to stockpile it, I guess, for for hard times. If I turn around, this is where it came from. So I'm going to chip this down a little farther and just take everything home today. See what I get that way. This is 10 pounds out of that bucket. A lot of fine gold there. A lot of that sulfides though. And this next picture here has got the, uh, the bigger gold. It's all balled up from the impact mill. It's really a bitch to pan it because them little BBs just, they want to roll away on you. But I, I'm satisfied with that. That's pretty good showing for 10 pounds. Then a subscriber, he wants some of this. He manufactures little impact mills. So there's about 10 pounds left in that bucket. I'm going to send it to him with some other stuff from around the place. So hopefully he can get a video out of how he deals with the stuff. If he does, I'll, I'll let you guys know and give you his channel name or link or something. Then the next video, going to be a short one because I got into the, the last pit down the hill and a lot of quartz, big vein, but no gold at all. So I'll get that video out pretty quick. I've got a little bit more of that rock to test. Next day or two, I'll get a video out about that. So thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.